what is happening everybody welcome back to another prediction video on the red wonders channel yes it's predictions time so Finn just nearly got eaten by a big doberman but few few huge games on this weekend including a massive derby which we'll talk about in the video but let's get into the goals and goal score we're of course out with the goal himself Right, into the first game, it's a Friday night game, Glen Avon versus Glen Thorne. This is a this is a big game for the Glens. Maybe just bounce back from a poor run of games, but but uh they played Glen Avon last week and just drew 0 no, 0 no. Had a few big chances. Obviously Glen Avon getting a red card helped them do their draw. But in this game, it's at home again. I'm gonna go for a nice 2-0 win to the Glens. They're going to go goals for Connor Mack and Gugge Dunley to get back on form. But this will be a good game. Now, there only has two games on this Saturday and it's both in the bottom six because I, I actually did forget the goal in our playing Linfield in the cup final but I'll give you that prediction as well. But first game, it's Newry versus Portadown. Now this game is massive for Portadown. This is a must win game. And I think they're going to win it. I'm going to go for a... I don't know who's going to score. But I'm going to go for a 1-0 win to the Ports. And I'd love to see the Ports stay up. As for Nuri, they've just got beat by a poor Glen Avon side who are on an awful run as well. Oh, that's just not good enough for Nuri. But Nuri have been good this season, to be honest. And Clem will start to play them away, which I'm not looking forward to. But let's get into the next game. Into the next one, and I've got another bottom six game. We've got Dungannon versus Carrick. Now, Dungannon are on a massive high because they somehow just got beat by Porter Down, but then went and beat the Reds in the Irish Cup. It's a huge result. I think they have Crusaders at, at Windsor in the next round of the Irish Cup, but they, they were unbelievable on Saturday. Kimball didn't look updated at all. We'll get into that later on, but Dungannon were so Herb against Clinville last week, but Carrick, Carrick uh, with a convincing one against the Ports, you don't really see that much of them. But uh, I think it's I think it's at Dungannon, so I'm going to go for a, a one 0 win to Dungannon. That is a surprise, but I, I think Carrick are just they're, they're just better. But I think Dungannon have home advantage, and that will play into this tie. But let's get into the next game. The last game in the league this weekend, and it's a huge one. And it's one that I'm going to, I don't know if Pete's going to, and it's Clinville versus Crusaders at Seaview, North Belfast Derby, Monday night, Sky Sports. Yes, I said that, Sky Sports. This is a tough one. And I, I am really not confident after that Dungana game. Shocking performance. But, as Roy Keane once says, all good teams bounce back. And I think we will. I think this will be an, a 1-1 draw, I'm going to predict. And that will be a good result for both teams in the race for the title. But goals will come from... I'd love them to score Parkers. But I think the goal will come from Ryan Curran coming off the bench. And for the Crews... The man who just loves scoring against Clinville, Paul Heatley. I don't want to talk about Paul Heatley. Cruz obviously into the next round of the Irish Cup. <sighs> Beating the Glens 1-0. Great result for them. And they play Dungannon in the next round. Hopefully Dungannon could get a good result against the other side of North Belfast. But we still have one more game to predict. And let's get into it. Into the last game of the match of this weekend, actually, it's Coleraine versus Limfield in the Bat McLean Cup final. Now, this will be a tight, tight game. Obviously, Coleraine had their miseries last season whenever they got beat 4 3 by Colombo. That was a great game for me personally. But anyway, I'm going to go for this game. I'm going to go for a, a nice. a go. Go 2 on one to Linfield. And I think Linfield's probably curse will finally end. Coleraine have to bring fight to this game. They were poor against Linfield a few weeks ago whenever they got beat 2-0. But anyway, 
I'd love to, I don't even know who I'd want to see lifted. Probably I'd like to see Cody lifted because Limpy would just have another another cup, which we just don't want. But anyway, this is the end of the video. If you want to, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.